Hey everybody, how y'all doing? It's Steve and today I'm going to suck at Saviors, a top-down shmup from Sharp and Edge Studios that's currently ridiculously cheap on Steam. If you're anything like me, you probably appreciate shmups more for the feeling of blasting waves of waves of waves of invading aliens or spaceships with your own twin laser cannons, and less for the challenge that many of the games actually have. You prefer playing it on easy, you prefer something that just feels fun to play, lots of things to shoot, and lots of weapons to unlock, as opposed to something that's going to really challenge you with pattern memorization, waves of bullets, and probably a Japanese name. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're probably going to enjoy Saviors a bit more than you might have enjoyed Ikaruga, or Cherry Blossom. God, I can't remember what that one was called. Perfect Cherry Blossom. There we go. Yes, name dropping. <laughs> My shmup credentials. <laughs> Like I said, it's a top-down one. I do, you know, I prefer horizontal scrolling ones, but yeah, I'll, I'll take a top-down one every now and then. And this one's a very good one. There's plenty to unlock. Lots of weapon variety here. You start off with energy waves, which are ridiculously powerful. And then, um, yeah, I, I'm working with the laser gatling at the moment because it's so cool. And side weapon as well because we can split our direction of fire to the side. It's, it's not horizontal it is top down but occasionally enemies coming from the side and changing your direction of fire can help and plenty more here so there's plenty to combine I'm gonna stick with me giant shock waves because they are awesome as well and I've unlocked a few not many secondary weapons and one of the very cool things about this is there are many ways there's many shmups they'll do something with the story and you'll either skip it or you'll pay attention. If you pay attention, they'll probably scroll it way too fast for you to read or so slow that it's on 20 seconds after you've finished reading it. But this one gives you lots of options. We can have it auto-scrolling at two speeds or we can have it show up instantly like that <laughs> or pausing and letting us skip as we want, which is a really cool thing. In fact, we don't even have to pay attention to the story at all. We can just skip the mission skip the mission we can skip the story and start the mission straight away it's cool that the devs have stuck that in there it it just lets the player decide how they want to view the story or if they want to view it at all I think that's a really cool thing but here we go with saviors it's a nice wide field as well normally it's right down the middle but this is a bit more expansive oh hello oh, oh hello there is some, some bullet hell inspired moments there. Here we go, I should probably have done that. Well, that was up there. Oh, that's the switching sides mode. Oh, mechanic, even. Mind the shield. As you can see, the hitbox is the little green circle in the middle of the bottle. Oh, oh. But this is it. Uh, granted, I'm playing it on easy, but with, with shmups, I do play them on easy most of the time, if easy mode is there. A lot of the time you'll just get normal hard or expert. But yeah, I, I shmups are things that I want to play for mindless fun, less of, less than a challenge, you know. Oh well, a bit of bit of company. And this is a great game in terms of that challenge. This has felt not overwhelming at all to me for an easy boat and that's great that's what I want because look at the size of those lasers and those shock waves I want to be able to wipe out everything that comes in front of me and a lot of shmups your weapons will feel a little underpowered once you've they may be screen emptyingly large but they'll feel underpowered as you're firing and you come up against bigger enemies and bosses I should probably have unleashed the micro missiles at this point would have made things a little easier. Oh, 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 oh. But in terms of... Oh, come on! I can see your energy bar up there. But in terms of not being too much of a challenge for an easy boat, that's what I want. And the game does it very well. Wow, that's the highest multiplayer I've had. Wow. The game does it very well because I want to feel like anything that comes in front of me will be wiped out by all of this. And 
<laughs> and it does in this. I could I could have switched it to a more difficult level of skill. I, more difficult level of skill. There's a there's more difficulty levels. There's more options. It's not just easy, normal, and hard. <laughs> but wow, I'm quite impressed by that actually. <laughs> a couple of perks as well. The perks are all really cool. Very cool thing to have. Very useful. There's some that will affect is the rate of fire and the spread. And oh, that's me being too fussy with the analog stick. Uh, more weapons, well, more secondary weapons, and then there's a bit more shield. And it's all really cool to have. You don't have to do it all in a linear fashion. You know, it's not just collect five power ups. You can power up your weapon five times, and then that's it. And I suppose another thing that I'd quite like to point out as well, while I quickly... Uh, quickly... I'll go with that. Why not? One more thing I'd like to mention is, you start with these weapons every time. A lot of times in shmups when you die on a level, you'll lose any upgrades that you collected. You could start level 3 with your weapons at full strength. Or... You could die. And have to go through it again with nothing and have to level up your weapons again. And that could be really, really difficult in later levels. It could be a bit more of an extra challenge, which I suppose, you know, shmups are for that sort of crowd. They're for people that want that challenge. But for people who don't, <laughs> like me, people who just like to see explosions and pretty lasers. Uh, this is a cool thing that you instantly start with those weapons at that power every time. It's, it's the coolest thing. And that I feel like I can change these. I didn't like that so much, but I feel like I can change these and play about with them. And I'm not going to be handicapped. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be overwhelmed in a level because all of a sudden I'm now with the wrong weapons. I like that all of these and all of the combinations feel like they could work and you could make it through a level with them. And that's also really cool, you know. That's, it's just a really cool shmup. For someone who really likes the hardcore aspect of shmups, the higher difficulty levels will no doubt be a bit more hectic than this. But for someone who does like just a little bit of mindless, you know, there's nothing wrong with it being mindless. <laughs> but just a little bit of mindless, high velocity, bright laser, plenty of explosions, the occasional bit of intense dodging, action from their shmups. This is a really cool game. This is one that I can not recommend. It's just fantastic at everything it does. It feels so good. Look at all the explosions. I've just been hit twice in the shield. <laughs> Which is slowly regenerating. Here we go. An example of how useful a decent side weapon can be. And now that you're all dealt with, I can switch back. There we go. See, simple mechanics, but they work! <laughs> they're simple and they're conveyed easily enough that someone like me, who, as many shmups as I do play, isn't very good at them, can still get the hang of. Wee Speed! So much fun. The soundtrack is pretty cool as well. It's quite Euro dancey, I quite like it. Let's have some asteroids. Reminded me a little bit of Beat Hazard. <laughs> Half tempted to stop firing and try and get the Daredevil bonus. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> I like everything about this, I really do. I like having my hitbox visible, I like how powerful the weapons feel, I like how the combo makes the explosions bigger, I like feeling competent enough that I've got a chain combo going, you know? Granted it's only on easy, but I like that there's an easy mode. I like that the game doesn't assume that I'm automatically a fan of this type of heavy, hardcore, challenging game, but I might be someone who thinks, oh that looks like a cool game to play and gives it a go and isn't put off by an overwhelmingly sharp difficulty spike. 
Eight point two. I'll take it. Eight point zero two. And I've leveled up as well again. Sweet. Let's. Let's. Why not? Yeah. Let's also have a bit of score attack. And there's a score attack mode as well. There's probably a survival somewhere. I may have to unlock it. Oh no! It's right there. <laughs> Score Attack Arcade, extremely challenging variation featuring old school arcade live system and a more complex scoring system. But uh, yeah, see, plenty of challenge. Three, two, one, and you're dead. Try again. Recommended for new players. Weaker or less enemies. Multiplier drops slower. See, it's just cool that it's an option. It doesn't assume that you're a hardcore schmuck player anyway. No story and the durability of your hole carries on through each stage. Okay, so that right, okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's have a look at Insane as well. Ooh, ooh we already have some pre built ships, of course. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, it's that shotgun. Ah! Right. Slow, fast. Yeah, let's get it's the laser Gatling gun. I like the laser Gatling gun. Oh, 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 hello. I miss those waves. I miss those shock waves. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Explode, all of you. Whoa, whoa, God. That was a bit of a flurry. Yeah, this is a little more intense than what I'm used to. <laughs> but wow, even this feels good. This doesn't feel like challenging the same way. I should have done this. <laughs> this doesn't feel challenging the same way that some of the more bullet hell games I've played are challenging. Oh god. I took a hit, I took a hit! But look how explosive it all is. Look how satisfying that is to see. Graphics are gorgeous on this, you know. So well done. They're not brilliant, you know. They're not advanced. They're not ultra realistic. But oh god, take it all damage! Take it all damage! That's not good. But they are drawn well. They are beautifully drawn, <laughs> designed, rendered. However, it's been done. Oh god! Oh god! That's a bit intense. They're all. Oh god! I crashed into it as well. Right, sod the sideways thing, I need to focus my firepower. <laughs> Even that at the top there, that the enemies appear in red first, letting you know that where they're coming from, as opposed to just showing up, that is the coolest thing. That is a very welcome addition. Especially when a lot of bullet hells and shmups are very based around pattern recognition. Oh god, oh god! 17%! Shit! Alright, come on, come on, we got this. Smack in your lips. Shield up, shield up, great. Well, it saved me a hit, so thank you. Oh, that one got away. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, there we go. Well, I don't think I did too bad considering I'd be playing on easy. So. That saved us, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Steve, I've sucked at it. Hopefully you won't suck at it as much as I do. It's such a good game though. It's such a good schmup. No, no. <laughs> Take it easy everybody, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.